Hey there. I've got some interesting knives to show you. They just arrived from Switzerland. I've got the package there in front of me. Uh, you can see Swiss Post, uh, Zurich Exchange Office. Just thought I would show that. It's pretty cool. And what I have today is a knife that is uh, for the Dave Arnold collection. Dave has just purchased this from Stefan Schober in Switzerland. And he had it sent directly to me simply to make a video of. So uh, I'm happy to do so. It's really cool to be able to handle these rare old Victorinox knives. Uh, this is a Victorinox. It's a uh, eight centimeter knife. It's from the 1920s. It wears horn scales and very unusually you can see it has this inlay in those scales. Uh, so we'll talk about this knife in a second, but uh, let me just talk a little bit more about Stefan Schober. I've had a chance now to have several personal dealings with Stefan. I know Dave has had many more. And I can say Stefan is an expert in vintage Swiss officer and soldier knives. Uh, he has integrity and he's honest. And he's a great source if you want to buy authentic vintage rarities in the best condition. He, he just deals in top shelf stuff, uh, rare authentic, highest quality. So I'll, uh, uh, Stefan sells under the moniker uh, Archibald Haddock, you know, the irascible character, the, the captain out of the uh, French comic strip Tintin. And so uh, uh, Stefan sells under Archibald Haddock 69 on eBay. And I'll put up a screenshot there of his uh, eBay user ID. And he has some listings right now, uh, so I will put uh, his current listings, links to those, in the description box below. But if you're looking for um, vintage, um, rare Swiss Army knives in really good condition, you need to follow Stefan. Okay, um, so this knife uh, is really interesting. Uh, first of all, it's your basic tool set. Um, six tools. I guess if this were a modern Victorinox, you would call this a tourist, if it were an 84 millimeter uh, modern Victorinox. Um, back in the day when this was made, they just referred to these as the eight centimeter models. And this one actually comes in around about 83 uh, millimeters. So it has, you know, your basic tool set uh, with corkscrew. Um, but what makes it so interesting, um, number one, horn scales, those are always really interesting. Uh, and they're absolutely beautiful here on the back. Now this knife has not been, you know, cleaned by me, polished, refurbished, uh, reconditioned in any way. So you can see that it's in its original state. Uh, and it's really quite excellent for its age. And um, here's how we're going to date this knife. Um, I mentioned I think it's from the 1920s. First of all, on this side of the tang, we can see the Army Swiss tang stamp with the Swiss cross. Now there were two versions of this. And uh, the first version ran all the way from the beginning up to like 1935. Then there was a second version that ran, uh, you know, from, I don't know, the 30s uh, up to like the late 40s. Um, but this version uh, has kind of the italicized or slanted letters. So this is the earlier one. And it ran up to about 1935. But on this side of the tang, uh, we can see another stamp. Now it's a little worn here. Uh, but it reads Victoria in scrolls, and under, underneath there, Enoxid. You know, short for an oxidable, a French term for stainless steel. So we know this knife came out after 1923 when um, Victorinox started using stainless steel. But this tang stamp is given by Victorinox directly from the source as running from 1923 to 1930. So this knife is no older than 1930. So uh, 1923 to 1930, we can refer to this knife as being from the 1920s, which makes it, you know, 90-something years old. Uh, so you can see it's in great shape. The blade has been obviously um, polished and sharpened. Someone did an excellent job. Um, there was or is a... Um, etching on the blade. I can't quite make it out. It's O dot something. And then, you know, L, maybe a U, Lucerne, Lucerne. But typically what that was was the, um, the retailer 
or the shop, and then the town in Switzerland where they were located. And that brings me back to uh, the really curious inlay. Uh, I went back through, you know, the 1903 catalog, Carl Elsner catalog. I went through the 1942 Elsner catalog. Um, and I didn't see any knives offered with uh, an inlay like this. Um, Dave Arnold has never seen another. I've never seen another. And I think Stefan um, Schober in Switzerland, who deals in, in uh, a lot of vintage Swiss Army knives, uh, has only had this one in hand and maybe seen a couple others in pictures. So I'm going to make a big uh, guess here. I'm surmising that this might have been something uh, that uh, the retailer added, um, that, that a shop might add to personalize a knife or to allow you a place for a small engraving, perhaps, you know, just uh, some initials or something there. But that is really interesting. It's laid right down there in the horn scales and uh, makes this knife really quite unique. Let's take a look at the other tools. Uh, and the first thing I want to show you is, yeah, of course, it has a solid screwdriver, no cap lifter. Um, it was 1936 or later that Victorinox, um, I'm sorry, it was, it was 1936 or, or maybe a little bit before when Victorinox started putting the cap lifter on their screwdrivers. So that makes a lot of sense. But also, this is really cool. Very, very unique as well. Here's that stamp again on the screwdriver. And here you can see it more clearly. Victoria and Ox in scrolls and then in Oxid. So again, there's that uh, stamp that helps us date this knife. The action on this knife is beautiful, smooth and light. It's almost like a new knife. Uh, this is the first style can opener. And then that leaves the small blade. It's that first style clip point blade. This one's all also been expertly cleaned up. And then the back tools are the uh, five turn grooves corkscrew. And you can see this knife has brass liners. Again, Victorinox, uh, they had uh, brass liners up until the 30s, and sometimes, sometime in the 30s, they switched over to uh, nickel silver liners. Although it is possible to get knives earlier than the 1930s with nickel silver liners, but uh, I don't think you're going to see brass after the 30s. There's the all. And uh, no scale tools on this. But that's just an excellent rarity. Uh, you know, again, fantastic tank stamp, horn scales, interesting inlay, and just excellent condition. So I hope you've enjoyed that, courtesy of uh, Dave Arnold and uh, Stefan Schober. Thanks, guys, and thanks for watching. <music>